Today the topic that we will be covering is um, adding and subtracting algebraic expressions versus multiplying and dividing algebraic expressions. Topics and the first thing we're going to do is adding and subtracting algebraic expressions um, which means that we can only combine like terms. Um, the terms are separated by plus and minus signs so when we add them we have to go by the terms x to the 6th plus x to the 4th. I'm sorry, this is backwards. I have no other way better to do it. Um, you can't really simplify it. They are not like terms, and just, just as I said before, they're separated by plus and minus signs. But if it was a times and dividing sign, you could do it, unlike you can't do it, is because um, you can't combine like terms. I'm going to keep repeating myself about that because it's really important. And um, the plus and the, and the minus sign are both terms that separate each other so when you do it you can't really have x to the second plus x to the third it's like um, adding two, um, two superficial apples plus three plus three regular apples like you can't really do that um, quote Miss Newborn um, but when it's x to the second times x to the third you will get x to the sixth it is possible to do it that way only in division and multiplying, but not in adding and subtracting. Is 3x plus 2x equals 5x? Um, like, let's say you have an x plus x that equals um, 2x, technically, because you, you have a 1 in front of the x, and that 1 is anything, just like you have a 3 and a 2. You add those two, and then you eventually get 5x. But this time, it is with a multiplying sign which is x to the 6th times x to the 4th equals x to the 10th. Um, when you have those type of exponents, you add them when you're multiplying. You do not um, multiply them, and because it's a times, you, you are able to do it. And just as I said before, um, adding and subtracting are separated by plus and minus signs. Problem with like terms, and the like terms are 3x to the 2nd plus 7x to the 2nd equals 10x to the 4th. Um, the way that you get that is you add 3 plus 7, which is 10. You always bring down the x, and then the um, exponents are 4, because you add the 2 and the 2 together, which equal 4. Um, you could do this one because they're both like terms, unlike the other ones. Like, let's say it was 3x to the 4th times 7x to the 5th. You wouldn't be able to do that because they're not like terms, so you can't solve for that problem. I'm sorry if I wasn't clear before about multiplying. When you multiply, you can combine on like terms. When you add or subtract, you could not do that. Um, so here's a problem, which is um, parentheses x to x plus four, parentheses and another one x plus three. Um, in order to do that, you need to distribute, which is um, you do x times x, which is x to the second, plus x times three, which is three x, plus 4 times x, which is 4x, plus 4 times 3, which is 12. Now your new um, formula will be x to the second plus 3x plus 4x plus 12. And um, in this problem, you've like terms, which is 3x plus 4x, and you combine that, which will you get 7x. So then you rewrite the um, the ones that you bring down, which is x to the second plus 7x plus 12. Um, you cannot reduce anymore because they're not like terms and they cannot be simplified. The problem right now that you're going to solve, I'm going to give you some time to do it. Um, the problem is 3 plus 2x plus 4x to the second minus 4x minus 2x to the second plus 4. Um, and I'm just giving you a little hint here, which is to combine like terms. And um, if you don't feel like you can reduce anymore, then don't reduce. Now, I'm going to give you the solution to the problem before, and here it is, which is 3 plus 2x plus 4x to the second minus 4x um, minus 2x to the second plus 4. Um, and there are a lot of like terms here, so let's combine them, which is um, 3 and 4, well, 3 plus 4, um, which is 7, and then there's 2x and 4, negative 4x. Um, and um, the answer to that would be negative 2x. Since there's a negative, it becomes a negative since the 4 is higher, of course. And um, the, the last like term is 4x to the second minus 2x to the second. Um, right there, the answer would be um, plus 2x to the second. You will leave the exponent the same, but the um, 
variables, you wouldn't leave the same. So right now your final equation is 7 minus 2x plus 2x to the second. You cannot reduce that any other way because there are no like terms whatsoever. Um, and you just leave it at that and that's your final answer. I have created another problem for you to do. Um, if you're still unclear of this and you feel like you still haven't got it. So I'm just let you do this one by yourself again. And then I will be back and help you to solve it. Um, the problem is 6 minus 2x to the 6th plus 3x to the 3rd minus 2 plus 4x to the 3rd. This one is a lot simpler than the other one. So um, just letting you know, combine like terms. And if you feel like you can't reduce any more, then... Um, the, the problem from before, I'm just going to um, reiterate it, which is 6 minus 2x to the 6 plus 3x to the 3rd minus 2 plus 4x to the 3rd. Um, one of the like terms here, well the first one is 6 um, and negative 2, um, and the answer right there is 4. Um, and 2x to the 6, you can't really do that because there are no like terms here in the problem, so you just leave it alone. Um, and then another one is um, 3x to the 3rd plus 4x to the 3rd, which is 7x to the 6th. And right now your problem is 4 minus 2x to the 6th plus 7x to the 6th. And right now you can combine both of those terms, which is, um, f um, which is 5x to the 6th. And right now your final problem is 4 plus 5x to the 6th. Um, the reason is that you keep the exponents the same when you're subtracting is just that um, they stay the same and they don't change at all. But when you are adding, like let's say it's x to the, um, if they are both the same, then you can add them. But if they're different, then you can't do it because let's say you had like oranges and apples. You can't add, you can't um, put oranges and apples together. So how it works, you have to have apples and apples together and you get more apples and dividing. Um, for this section right here for adding and subtracting algebraic expressions, um, there's a link down below. Um, it's also for multiplying and dividing, but um, you should, if you still feel confused about adding and subtracting, um, the website is there. And um, if you want to keep researching more, then go ahead if I wasn't um, that clear. Um, but next time we will be doing multiplying and dividing, and hopefully that will clear up more stuff that you do not understand. What we have here is um, 4x times 6x equals 24x. Um, you um, multiply the coefficients together and that's how you get 24 and then you just bring down the x. Our problem which is 4x to the second times 6x to the third equals 24x to the fifth. Um, the way that you get that is that you time the coefficients, you bring down the x and then um, the exponents you just add them when you multiply which is 3x plus 6 over 3. Right there, you can just reduce by the bottom 3. You 3 and 3 over here both cancel out, and then it's just x. You just bring in the x and the plus. Um, and then 3, and then 6 divided by 3 um, is 2, so that would be 2. And then their um, final equation would be x plus 2. So for multiplying and dividing, you can combine unlike terms, but for adding and subtracting, you cannot. So for example, it's um, x to the second um, times x to the third, um, which equals x to the fifth, because for the exponents, you add them together when you're multiplying, and when you're dividing, you subtract them. So it's like a different way of doing it. It's how it goes in math, and um, that's how you're going to be doing multiplying and dividing with exponents do a problem of multiplying with um, di with a distributive property. So right here the problem is 2x um, parentheses 3x plus 1. So right there you're going to have to distribute. You're going to have to distribute 2 to the 3, which is going to be 6x to the second, because when you have two x's, it's to the second, and then 2 to the 1, which is going to be 2x. And then your final answer is going to be 6x to the second plus 2x. You cannot reduce it um, because they are not they both don't have um, the same exponents, so they're not like terms right now. But if they both have the same exponents, you're able to do it. But since they do not, you are not able to simplify it anymore. The problem that you guys will do on your own, I'm going to give you a little while to do it. Um, here it is. It is 6x times 7x a second times 3 times 2x a second plus 9. I'll give you a little time to do that, and I'll be back with the answer. You can help us with math today? I don't really think so. I think you're really tired. Okay, I guess she's not going to help us. Oh well. To solve the problem I gave you before, that was a little short video from Ella. 
Um, so I'm just gonna reiterate it, which is 6x times 7x to the second times 3 times 2x to the second plus 9. So right there, you only have two like terms, which is 7x to the second times 2x to the second. You both mu multiply those. You multiply the coefficients, which is 7 and 2, which you get 14. And then you add the um, exponents, which is 4. And then you just bring down the rest of the stuff. And um, your final equation will be 6x times 14x to the fourth times 3 plus 9. And you can't reduce it any longer because in order for it to have like terms, the, six, um, the six x will need an exponent, but it doesn't have one. So since you can't do that anymore, you cannot reduce. And since the 3 is no exponent, it's not really like terms, so you can't do that. And since you have a plus 9, you can't really do anything there. So yeah, that's it for now. Now we're going to do another division problem. Here it is, which is 3x over 6x. And right there, all you have to do is find a common factor. What is a common factor? A common factor is a number that can go into both of them evenly. Like let's say it's 2 and 4, the common factor there is 2, because 2 can go into 2, which is 1, and 2 can go into 4 two times. Um, and right now, the common factor here is 3. So um, 3 divided by 3 is 1. And then... Um, 6 divided by 3 is 2. And then the x's, they just cancel out. And then you're, an and then you're left with your answer, which is 1 half. Now we're going to do another one. But this one is a little bit different than the last one. It is 9x to the 5th over 9x to the 3rd. So right there, you know that you just cross out the 9's because they're both the same. And you obviously don't need them. But for the... Um, but for the x's, they both have different um, exponents. So what do you do then? Right then, all you do is subtract them. And when you subtract them, you just do 5 minus 3. And then you're left with x to the second. That is your final answer. Um, it's not like adding or subtracting. It's a lot different. But when you're multiplying, you add them. When you're dividing, you subtract them. I'll give you guys another problem, which is 10x to the 8th over 5x to the fourth um, and right now there you automatically can tell that you need a common factor and the common factor here is 5 so all you have to do is divide by 5 so 5 divided by 5 is 1 and 5 divided by 10 is 2 and for the exponents just like I said before what do you do? you subtract so 8 minus 4 is 4 and then you're left with the answer 2x to the fourth the reason that there is no denominator is because it's j there's just the 1 on the bottom and you really don't need that 1 because the 5 cancels out and the 4 here cancels out. And since the 8 is left with more, you just um, leave it right there. You could put um, it over 1, but it really makes no sense. So, d so it's better if you just leave it 2x to the 4th because um, then you're just going to reduce that to 2x to the 4th. 2x to the 4th over 1 is 2x to the 4th. A little bit of a harder problem. Here it is, which is 12x times 10 to the 6 over 4x times 10 to the 3rd. So right there, um, you guys have to find the common factor, which is 4. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. And 4 divided by 12 is 3. And for the exponents, just as I said before, you subtract them when you're dividing. But when you multiply, you add them. So right here, 6 minus 3 is 3. And your final answer is 3x times 10 to the third. That will be your final answer because you're reducing everything else by the common factor and you're subtracting the exponents. And that's how you will get your answer. Before, um, just to make you guys do more practice and to understand it better, which is 81 um, x to the fourth times 3 over 9 x to the second times 3. Right there, you find a common factor, which is um, 9. So 9 divided by 9 is 1. is one, And then 9 divided by 81 is 9. And then for the exponents, you just subtract them. 4 minus 2 is 2. And then for over here, these just cross out because you're dividing. You don't need them. So then your final answer would be 9x to the second. Because on the bottom, everything is just a 1. And you really don't need it, except for the top, it all reduces down to 9x to the second. And that is your final answer.
has a problem to do on your own you might think it's difficult but i think it's not you could do it with a friend do it with your parents um here it is it is 16x a second times 2x times 3x a second plus 5 minus 6 times 5x over 4x times 3x i will be back with the answer soon and hopefully you will get it right uh, the answer to the problem i'm just going to re-say it 16x a second times 2x times 3x a second plus 5 minus 6 times 5x over 4x times 3x. Right here, there are a lot of like terms. I'm just going to say them for you guys. One of the like terms are 16x a second and 3x a second. Another one is 2x and 5x. And just for 5 minus 6, you just subtract. So right there, 16x a second and 3x a second, all you do is 16 times 3, which is 48, and then you just add the exponents. Since they're both 2, it equals x to the 4th. So your um, final reduction for that one is 48x to the 4th. And then there's 2x and 5x. Right there, it will be 10x to the 2nd. Since the x's have invisible ones that we can't see, they both combine, which is x to the 1st. x to the 1st equals x to the 2nd. So it will be 10x a second. The next one, 5 minus 6, um, will be negative 1. So, and then on the denominator, which is 4x times 3x, all you do is just multiply those together, which is 12x a second, just like as I said before with the exponents, x to the first, x to the first, x to the second. And then your problem for now is 48x to the fourth times 10x to the second minus 1 over 12x to the second. Sorry you can't see it really well, we're just trying to solve it for you guys. So right there, all you have to do is find a common um, factor, and the common factor I found was 2, so something else can go into 12, 48, and 10. So um, 2 divided by 12 is 6, 2 divided by 48 is 24, and 2 divided by 10 is 5. And then the x to the seconds just cancel out, since they, so when you divide, you subtract the exponents. When you multiply, you add them. So here you're both subtracting them, which would be basically nothing. And then minus 1, you just leave minus 1. So right now, your problem will be 24x to the 4th times 5 minus 1 over 6. Right there, you have to find the common factor as well. The common factor I found, or that I can see, is 6. So I did 6 divided by 6, which is 1. 6 divided by 24, which is 4. And then, and then all I did was 5 minus 1, which is 4. And then right there, um, your problem will be 4x to the 4th times 4. You just bring down the exponents and you just leave those alone since there are no more x associated with it. And for the 5 minus 1, you just do 5 minus 1. Um, since 4x to the 4th times 4 is your final answer, you could not reduce it anymore since some of them are alike since they are not be able to be reduced. And if you try, it will be impossible. I'll show you some uneven radicals that you could not be able to get them out of the radical. Like radical 2, radical 3, radical 5, radical 7, radical 15, radical, radical 27, radical 37, radical 11, radical 12. They cannot be um, reduced down because if you try to reduce them down, you're just going to get like a decimal or something, and you just don't want to confuse yourself. And let's say you have a big number, like 37, you're going to have to break it down. When you break it down, it's just going to be odd. Let's say you have radical, I don't know, 72. Um, you could just break that down into radical 4, radical 9, and radical 2. So right there, you have broken down radical 72. And since 4 and 9 have numbers, you can take them out of the radical, because 4, because radical 4 equals to 2, and radical 9 equals to 3. So it will be um, 3 times times 2, rad 2. You can't get the rad 2 out, because a rad 2 has nothing that is divisible by it, or that can multiply to get there, except for 1, but we really don't use 1. So now you would have 3 times 2 radical 2 because the 2 comes from the 4 and the 3 comes from the 9 because radical 9 is 3 and radical 4 is 2. Then all you do is multiply those two and then you get 6 radical 2. That is your answer. 
and that is how you simplify it when there's a big number. When there's a small number, like 9, radical 9, your answer is 3. Your answer right there is just 3. Just 3. Right there. It's just 3. Because that's how you get it. A chart that I showed you before can be divisible. And let's say you have um, 84, you can break that down into many other ones um, that are divisible. But if you are not able to break it down like 87, then you could not do it. You just make yourself go crazy and just don't do that. Problem um, that you're going to have to be able to break it down, just like I showed you before. It's going to be like the same number as before. Um, you're going to have to be able to break it down. Um, hopefully if you, if you don't understand it, then get some help. I'm sorry if I'm not that clear enough because I'm trying to make this abbreviated for you and to make sure that you get it in a little amount of time, not as much as people make it like um, 37 minutes long or class long. So um, here's the problem. It is rad 72 x to the third. I will give you some time to do that and I will be back with the answer. Before, but with the exponents it's like the same thing with like rad 4 equals 2. Um, if it's like rad x to second equals x because x plus x equals rad x to second or x times x equals rad x to second um, rad x to the fourth um, x to the second times x to the second x to the fourth because you add the exponents in order to get it like rad x to the sixteenth equals x to the fourth because four times four is sixteen so kinda works out and you're kind of just multiplying them as you go along um, and here is the answer to the problem from before. I'm sorry if I wasn't clear about that. I will leave websites and videos that I think are very educational that will probably help you more than me because I'm really not that good at it, but I'll see what I can do. And if I'm helping you, just um, write it down below if I helped you and like the video if I helped you. Um, so right here I'm just going to re -say the problem, which is um, rad 72x to the third. Um, I broke it down to rad 4. Um, rad 9, rad 2, um, rad x to second, and rad x. So you basically just break it down to things that could be divisible and things that can't be, but here we have some divisible things that can be done. Um, like rad 4 um, turns into 2 because 2 times 2 is 4, rad 9 turns into 3 because 3 times 3 is 9, and rad 2 you can't really do anything to that, um, nothing goes into it, nothing multiplies to it, um, and rad x to the second um, that goes down to x because x times x, x to the second, and rad x, um, you can't really do anything for it, so you just leave it alone. So right now your equation is 2 times 3 rad to the second times x um, times rad to the second equals. Um, so right there you just combine the ones that are on the outside, and then the ones that are with the radical, you just combine the ones with the radical. And right now your answer will be um, 6x um, radical 2x. So the radical x goes with the radical 2, and the 2 times 3 equals 6, and then the regular x just goes with the 6. So there's your answer to the problem. Hopefully I helped you, and if I didn't, I'm very sorry. Bye! Subscribe and like this video! Woo! She's eating. She really doesn't care. Oh well. Bye! It was nice seeing you guys!